Hi guys, this is JD Gravity RC. Welcome back to my channel. I have done several videos connecting Devo 7 and Devo 10E using the USB cable to the FPV Freerider um, simulation program or software. And um, I have a viewer, Brian, who has asked me whether I can connect the SK x6 transmitter to the pc and use that for fpv free rider i don't have a x6 transmitter but i do have a x7 transmitter that i've got with my skx251 so i'm going to try this using this transmitter to see if i can connect to the pc to use with fpv free rider so I have watched several videos and um, did a bit of research and to see if I can connect a transmitter with a audio port out. I think this is PCM port and whether this can be done connecting this to the PC. And there are several videos that has done it and has shown how to do it but um, they haven't done it with SKX6 or X7 transmitter so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you how to do it it's pretty simple once you know the steps first of all you need to download the Smart Pro Pro Plus software and then you need to install it on your computer once you install it, it will then install a shortcut on your PC which is Smart Pro, Pro Plus. Just double click on that, or oh, it's already running. So I just need to bring this up. This is how it looks like. So it needs you to connect your uh, transmitter to using an audio cable that's all you need is an audio cable it can be um, high, uh, stereo or just mono so I just got this audio cable from um, my microphone or my headphone that I normally use and I just connect this to my to the back of the SKX7 transmitter so after what you need to do next is you just need to plug this into the uh, microphone port of your PC then you just turn on your SKX uh, transmitter as you can see it auto detects but I had some um, problems earlier when I did it uh, the, the problem is you don't know which decoder to use at the start so if you use um, some decoder it may not work you can only use it if you can when you uh, move the states and the um, the channel actually moves so it can be this positive the negative one doesn't work because it says cannot calculate joystick position but if you put the positive one it says smart proper plus is fully operational so only is when it's fully operational you can it works so this one says 8 channel it works the 20G one I don't think it works uh, 20G also doesn't work because when you move the sticks it doesn't go up and down well Kira one Okay, well, I think it works. I'm not sure about put Futaba. Let me try Futaba. Yeah, it doesn't work. So I suggest for you to do is because I did it with uh, the standard one, I propose that you just use the standard one for the start, and then you can experiment with this later on. Just use the standard one. Initially, when I did this, this one didn't detect well. It went all haywire, so it didn't 
um, the channel didn't work basically so what you need to do is first of all you need to go to the sound cards sound settings if you have windows 7 just type sound on the search bar and then just go into this sound control panel what you need to do you need to click on recording and then you see the microphone via HD audio default device double click on that it brings up this another panel so with this panel what you need to do is you go to uh, labels um, I, I want to show you what I mean by saying that it doesn't detect and it doesn't work if this level is too high so at the moment I put it at 40 and it works but if I when I first experiment with this it was all the way up to the max so because it's all the way up to the max it doesn't work it doesn't detect because I, I don't know why it's maybe because of uh, interference from outside noise or something like that so as soon as I put it down to about 40 it has no problem or 41 see you move the channel it works and um, I'm not sure about this microphone boost let me put it a bit high see whether it still works or not yeah it seems like it works so microphone boost doesn't do anything to this maybe it just makes the signal a bit stronger that's all so um, maybe I just put it down somewhere not too much to the bottom here somewhere maybe along here I had it at 0 earlier but if you want maybe put it at 10 or something and then I'll just try and see whether it works or not it, as long as it detects it should work so the next thing to do is because it's not Smart Propo Plus it's fully operational you just need to minimize this close this close this and then just start FEB free rider so when it starts you need all you need to do is you, you need to calibrate the controller so put the throttle stick in the middle click OK and go to the right click OK see your it's detecting, go up, click OK, throttle, fine. So the next thing to do is um, the aileron stick to the left, click OK, pitch up, click OK, done. So if you can see the um, this the throttle the throttle uh, seems to be okay if it's not center all you need to do is just move the trim buttons and then just center it and that's fine now with this one it moves around pretty well but it's better to center it because if you don't then the quad will drift so put it in the middle here put it up adjust this then click OK. So nice try to test this. There's it. Alright, I put the thing up a bit. See? It works now. Oops. Let me try again. Let me try the FPV camera. Okay. The volume a bit.
So you can use the X6 transmitter for this because they are virtually the same. So hopefully you guys can go and try it out and enjoy your FPV free rider. So until next time, this is JT Gravity RC signing out. Cheers.